Opium had long been known and used in China, indeed for centuries, specifically within the context of medicine for a variety of applications, and typically it was ingested orally. A major innovation in the history of opium, if we can use that word to refer to a narcotic, was the combination of opium and smoking tobacco, which contributed to its more widespread use as a kind of recreational narcotic. This combination is believed to have originated in Java, in what is now modern-day Indonesia, and later introduced to China via Dutch merchants in Taiwan and along China's southern coast, sometime in the 17th century, although there is no way to be certain. Smoking opium became far more popular, widespread, and addictive, and over the course of the 1700s, an illicit trade in opium began to grow. The trade at first was quite small, however. Circa 1726, just an estimated 200 chests of opium were imported into China annually. Each chest equaled roughly 134 pounds, so a very small quantity given the size and population of the empire. By 1820, however, that number had increased to 10,000 chests imported annually, and the trade only grew from there. The British trade in opium formed its own kind of triangular trade. Opium was grown and processed in India and Turkey, and then sold to the Chinese market. British shipping, which played a more dominant role globally ever since the famed Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, wherein the British Royal Navy destroyed 22 ships in the joint French-Spanish fleet during the War of the Third Coalition against Napoleon, played a central role in the opium trade with China. With this trade in opium and British supremacy in terms of naval transportation infrastructure, British traders began to reverse the flow of silver by the year 1820. No longer was silver flowing out of Britain into China. Now the opposite was happening. By 1839, an estimated 40,000 chests of opium, or 5 million pounds, were being imported into the Qing every year. To consider the scale of this trade, consider that opium constituted an estimated two-thirds of the total value of all British exports to China, making it perhaps the largest trade in a single commodity ever in history to that point. It is for this reason that we can think of the British Empire as one of the most powerful and global narcotic empires in human history.